Have you ever tried iced tea in a gym shaker? I have recently tried it. It's crazy. Hey dear everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and in this video we are talking about three things. First is one very important tip if you are going through with the Python language and you are mastering it or trying to understand it. This tip is going to help you a lot. The second is the most important thing, we are talking about the list comprehensions. Comprehensions is a great subject in Python and it's not expected to be learned by a beginner but once you have basics, loops and functions all done, it's definitely worth to check out comprehensions in Python. And the third thing, there is a giveaway in this video and we are giving away iWriteCode t-shirts. Now before we move forward, I would like to give a big shout out to BuddyWorks. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video as well as helping me out in putting my projects into production. They are such a breeze and amazing company to work with. In case you want to put out your projects into production, make sure you check out BuddyWorks at least once. I'll put a link in the description section and one more time, thank you so much for sponsoring this video, BuddyWorks. Now before we go ahead and talk about the list comprehension, which is a great subject, I would like to mention this one very important thing. Now when you take any programmer who has been writing code for let's just say six, seven or eight years in Java or maybe other language like C++ and when you take the same programmer and you implement them into the Pythonistic scenario, he surely will be able to achieve all of the things because if a programmer is writing code for since long, he should be pretty much comfortable in just looping through the things, displaying them wherever he wants, maybe on a web page or maybe in a software. That's all okay. But during this phase of transition, if you are learning Python or you are writing JavaScript code for a really long time, if you move into Python world and you are not utilizing the Python perks, that is not really a great thing to do. What I mean to say is if you are taking exact same code which is in Java and C++ or anything else and you are just writing exact same thing in Python just by declaring variables and stuff, that is okay and understandable for a beginner to do and if you are doing that, it's okay, it's totally fine. But it is also recommended that eventually you move into Python style of code. The reason why Python is being loved so much is its simplistic syntax and semantics that is being used. The language like Java is very verbose. You declare everything so openly and so readable format. You don't need to do that exact same thing in Python. So if you are learning Python and initially you are just converting every code in C++ or Java code into Python exact same way, that's okay. But I highly recommend to spend some time in learning more perks of Python and convert that code into more simplistic format of the Python style. List comprehension is one such intermediate subject of Python which will help you to write simplistic code. It's not a library, it's not a module, it just is a Pythonic way of supporting the things in a very different way. Let me tell you what exactly list comprehension is. Comprehension is a way of simplifying your code in Python style. Now, it's not really compulsory that you write all of your Python code in comprehension style, but let me warn you here, once you understand and start practicing comprehension, there is no going back. You want to write all of your code in the comprehension way. It's not a module, it's not a library, it's a style of writing code which Python supports. And this is gonna be very simplistic and very understandable for you. All those people who are writing Python code for a few months or few years are gonna understand this, but people who are coming up from different side of language, Java, maybe JavaScript a bit, they are, you are not gonna see them writing this style of code much often, but this is a fun way of doing that. So let's understand the comprehension writing pattern and how you can utilize comprehensions of Python in simplifying your code. For that, we need a scenario to create. Let's just say you have a YouTube account and in that account you are running multiple channels. It's a common thing nowadays. And all of the channels are doing absolutely good. Some is earning $100 a month, some is earning $700, $300 a month. And those pricing is usually mentioned in dollars. You want to convert that pricing into Indian rupees. So one, one US dollar equals to around 68 Indian rupees. So you want to convert them out. So how you're gonna deal that situation? First and foremost, we're gonna deal up with that with Pythonistic way, and then we're gonna uh, move into the intermediate Pythonistic way, how you're gonna simplify this situation. So let's go ahead and do that. So for that, first and foremost, I need to fire up my Python shell. Again, I really like to like co write code into an editor, but this is fine, basic scenario. 
So we're gonna simply have a payout. So these are my payouts. Of course, this is gonna be a list. And all of the channel are doing fine. $100, uh, $200, some is $234, uh, 546 and uh, 765 again random numbers nothing of a big deal so this is my list now I want to create another list which is going to have all the numbers being multiplied by 68 to convert them so I'm going to simply use payouts in rupees okay so how you're going to do that and accomplishing this task has multiple ways and surely you can run a simple loop and just multiply that, store that in a list. But let's do it with a little bit Python approach. So we're gonna simply have a list. I'm gonna cast everything into a list. Now you can run a loop here, but I'm gonna use simply a map here. And in case you don't know, map is almost similar to a map in JavaScript, which takes, uh, which loops through every object in a list, and you can do whatever you like. So it takes two parameters. The first one is the function, and the second one is the list itself, which we can mention payouts here. So you definitely can write a custom design function and can call it here. But what else you can do is you can use uh, lambda here. So there we go. And uh, Lambda can iterate through over this entire list. So let's just say I'm going to call all these payouts as P. And whenever you are looping through every single payout, all you have to do is simply P multiplied by, let's just say 68 is a good pricing for that. So there we go. And now this has been done. So let me show you with a print statement. And we're going to have a payouts in rupees. There we go. So when I run this, no big deal. This is a very basic stuff that everybody does. So how list uh, comprehension can actually simplify this code and can make it more readable. Let me go ahead and do that as well. So we're going to call this as new payout in rupees. That's a bit long of a variable name, but anyways. So what you can do is you can directly start with a list because obviously I'm comprehensing a list here. And all you can do is directly start saying that P should be uh, multiplied by 68. Uh, and now I have to loop through it. This is my condition or that's exactly my purpose of writing this. This is what should happen. And then I can simply loop through it. So I can simply say for P in uh, payouts. And that's all I have to do. Really simplistic, very, very amazing and fun way of writing that. If I hit enter, there we go. And I can simply go ahead and print that and print that new payouts in rupees and there we go we can see exactly same thing that is happening but again this one definitely uh, something which is more readable for a programmer who is coming up from the java or maybe javascript world but this is more pythonistic approach very simplistic uh, but it is fun and what more else you can do is you can write more stuff in it here like for example if you have some condition you can just write if and you can use ternary operators and stuff like that you can make this one single line more of like a complex statement. You can go ahead and do that. For example, I can simply say, I want to see all the payouts which are greater than, let's just say 200. Okay, you can go ahead and do that. And now if I print this new payout, I can see only the values which are about 200 are being multiplied by 68. Yeah, fun way of doing that. And as I told you, I warned you, once you start loving it, there is no going back. I told you, list comprehension is absolutely a fun way of writing code in Python. And of course, it is not expected to be write, a person to write code in a Pythonistic or list comprehension style from the day one. But eventually, you have to move it there, and it's a good thing to do. Now, coming up on to the part of the giveaway. Now, here's a very simple thing that you have to do for the giveaway. Make sure you hit that first subscribe button on this YouTube channel and post down in the comment section an answer to a very simple question. What is the one thing that you absolutely love about Python and what is the one thing that you absolutely hate about Python? Put down in the comment section, I'll pick up one winner randomly, of course, and will announce that on my Instagram. Make sure you follow me up there as well. I'll announce that on the next coming Sunday so make sure you just reach me out on Instagram as well. Oh, by the way, one more thing. Make sure that on your channel description, once I click on the comment and I check your profile, in the about section, there is your email available because I really don't want that I love this comment. I want to give away the t-shirts to this guy and there's no actually good way to reach you out. So make sure your email is available so that I can fire you up an email and can send you an amazing t-shirt. So that's it for this video. In case you have enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button as well take part in the giveaways uh, they're gonna come up a lot on this channel now and make sure you hit that subscribe as well and I'm gonna catch you up in the next video